Hello, my name is Uduak Akwan. Uh, you can also call me Buff, of course, the author of the book, The Viral Fit. Uh, today, quickly, I want us to look at what I call some lessons for productivity. Some lessons for productivity. I'll be listening to John Piper and a podcast from John Piper. And uh, he mentioned seven um, lessons for productivity and what actually um, has kept him, kept him going over the years. And, um, Part of the video seven is I want to And the first one that actually hit me uh, was uh, what is what it calls uh, making peace with imperfections. Making peace with your imperfections. Of course, as humans, we will definitely need to advice uh, to life. But the challenge with this is the fact that a lot of people have let their mistake the real thing. Their mistakes are actually taking them out of you know what they believe. They are here to do. Most people have actually gone into condemnation or agreed to failures or to terms of um, setbacks that they are not here uh, to do anything in life. And that's why you see that they step away from what they are supposed to be doing. I I, I was listening to Arnold Schwarzenegger the other day. He talked about it. He, he acted a lot of things that went down the way, a lot of things that were in the next day in the bin and you can imagine the level of success in that particular area in his life that that kind of person had those kind of experiences but the point is there's no point that is immune to challenges and failures in life but the point is our perspective about um, your failures and your challenges actually what differentiate those that end up succeeding and those that fail in life I want to quickly read from um, 1 Corinthians 15 58 1 Corinthians 15 58 Look at it, it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of God. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, there's nothing you do in the name of the Lord with the right motive that will not be um, a success in life. Definitely, you will have that some process, some part where you have to learn. Um, how to do things right. Like I always say that Edison learned how not to present what we now call light close to or more than a thousand times until it was able to present a perfect thing that all of us can now see because it did not give up. So there are so many people that because they have given up in life, the product they are supposed to, 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 to give to the world, the world actually does not have it right now. And that's why you see that the work is so dark because people that are supposed to be shining are not shining because they have given up in life. That, that's why you need to, you know, abound in whatever you do. And the only way you are bound is to change your perspective about your failures, about your setbacks, about your challenges. You need to see that this is that these things are actually part of life. They are part of life. Failures are actually coming in to present to us how to do things until we get to perfection. Nobody ever moved from um, um, failures to success without or from, from nothing to something without actually experiencing challenges or failures in life. Quickly number two that I, I want us to look at is chop a little um, each day of your life. Chop a little. What it means, what this principle actually means is the fact that do a little about what you believe you are here for. For example, he gave example of 15 minutes per day. You know, this year, I said I was going to, I determined in my spirit I was going to read at least 24 books, meaning that two books in a month. But up to this point, I've not been able to read more than three books. There were, there were some books I read, that I read some chapters and I dropped them. But if I was applying the 15 minutes principle, like I really did, after I saw this principle, I picked up a book and I read it for 15 minutes, I discovered that I read so much um, pages. And I discovered that if I was actually doing this, Every day of my life, I'm sure by now I will have read more than my more than, more than my target, and that's one thing. You need. Imagine you take your axe or a knife and you keep chopping a tree in front of your house or somewhere in the environment. One day, discover that the tree will actually fall, and that's what success is. People don't even know at point things changes. All they can remember is their struggles, their failures, and before you know it, they step uh, back and say, "I'm not a special person. I'm not cut out to do this." I'm not here to succeed in life. And they begin to look at those that have actually attained success over the years as some kind of special being, not knowing that they are only doing little something, they need to change, a little tweak, you know, about what they are 
what they believe and they've been able to come out with success in their life. You might look as if nothing is happening in your life. You might look as if whatever you are doing right now, there's no result. Nobody's seeing you. But the point is your consistency about your perspective, about um, what you believe, what you believe in God for, then will definitely change, make a lot of changes uh, in your life. Number three is to get excited about what lies ahead. Get excited about what lies ahead. What lies ahead must be must, must excite you more than what you have attained before. If what you have before actually excites you more than what you are believing God, what you are looking up to to achieve in life, then you might it's, a, it's an indication that you are in the wrong part of your life. Because Bible says that the part of just is a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. It means that you cannot afford to have a better yesterday. Your tomorrow must be greater than what you have attained um, in life. Look at um, um, Isaiah, Isaiah, I'm sorry, look at um, Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3, look at verse 13 and verse 14. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but what, this one thing I do, forgetting those things which I do. Oh, those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So, what lies ahead, the glory ahead must be able to keep you going on to be able to attain that which you, you don't, you, you cannot imagine in life. So, the glory ahead must be greater than. Um, what you have attained before, whether failure or whether success. So that's one thing you need to do that you must be able to be excited about what you are planning to achieve in life. And that alone will keep you going, even the days where it looks as if nothing is happening in life, the days that it looks as if God is not saying anything, the days it looks as if you are not doing anything in life. And so it looks as if your life is actually a mess or, or, or you are filled in life. But when you begin to see that I can do this, I can do this, then it's over that you'll be able to move further in life. There was a time in my life I practically of, uh, uh, bought a dictionary and the first thing I remember from that dictionary was to try to erase the, uh, the word impossibility because I wanted to erase that particular thing in my mind to be able to see that there's nothing committed to the hands of God that will not come as successful. Now, God will not go to out to people to the environment without preparing you or training you. And that's one thing that is just that you know about looking at those things that are ahead, not those things that are behind. Jesus Christ was saying concerning Jesus Christ that he said, you know, for the for the glory that lies ahead, he endured the cross. He endured the cross. So we would be able to, uh, uh, you know, to endure shame, to endure setbacks, to endure failures, to endure, you know, um, even humiliations because we believe that there's something that lies ahead that we can achieve in life. So quickly recap right now. We talked about making peace with imperfections. We learn how to live with your mistakes and learn what those mistakes are come to that you must accept mistakes and failures as part of life you know it's part of life then number two chop a little every day 15 minutes don't be dogmatic about it pick up your book or whatever you believe your, your proposals and do something about it you need to every day i'm not saying it could be any time don't be dogmatic about it apply to your environment to yourself to your life with the grace of god upon your life and you can pick it up at any time but make sure you are doing something concerning your dreams either weekly either daily either monthly but make sure that you do not you do not leave that uh, dream hanging and and, and and leave another 15 years or five years or 10 years and still being at the same level yet you believe that you are going somewhere then of course number three get excited with what lies ahead than what um, you have already a, a, achieved in life. There are great steps um, for productivity. And if you can do this, which I'm very, very sure that you do a great in your life and you will not um, regret um, ever putting more um, you know, time into what you are believing in God for. If this is your first time on Speaking this Channel, please do not forget to hit um, the subscribe button or comment below to tell us what uh, you want us to actually improve or what part this particular uh, teaching has done in your life and at the same time do not forget to share this will actually help somebody and for our returning subscribers we say hands on the head thank you for being there for us you know we 
been a blessing having you around. God bless you real good. The name is Uduak Akwa. You can call me off. God bless you.